like it's the aesthetics for me it's the aesthetics for me hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Rach for those of you who don't know me and I talk about fashion beauty and lifestyle on this channel today I'm back with a collective haul of all the things I've accumulated over the past month and a half I just wanted to show you my new in bits now it's completely random so so many different brands in this haul so get a cup of tea because it might be a long one and before we get into this video please remember to subscribe road to 1k remember to like this video and comment down below what is your favorite piece from this haul so with that let's get into this video right. the first thing i've got recently is this zara blazer it's probably like the only thing i have from zara from this entire year i know i am like a self-proclaimed zara queen however i've just been finding it really really hard to shop from zara mainly because the things i've saved are always out of stock so i can never buy everything at once and that really annoys me to buy one of pieces because then i can't give you like a proper haul so i prefer not to shop until everything is in stock which i know is very very hard however this blazer was just like a must have a must have for me and i cannot take all the credit my friends was lovely and decided to treat me to this so yeah thanks Shan um get you good friends <laughs> that buy you nice stuff but yeah she she actually got me this blazer so I'm really really chuffed about it I love it it's a super white well it's not white it's like a cream blazer I'm not sure if the camera's picking up the color well but it's just very simple um double breasted gorgeous great for summer because the material isn't too thick it's quite um Thin actually the material, even though the price tag wasn't thin. But anyway, <laughs> it's still a lovely, lovely, lovely blazer, and I know I'm gonna to plan to wear it. I'm planning on wearing it to brunch tomorrow, so I'm super, super excited for this. I got it in the biggest size possible, extra, extra large, because I am five foot nine, as I always say, and I want this to be super oversized on me, and it really isn't that big anyway. So just like keep that in mind if you are thinking about this blazer it's not really super oversized like if you're going for that look even the extra extra large in my opinion is still quite small if you know what i mean so you'll see a clip of me trying it on anyway so you know what i mean about the sizing but yeah this is the blazer love it absolutely love it i'm gonna go on to shoes now i haven't bought a lot of shoes this year in fact these are the first pair of shoes i'm going to show you two pairs of shoes that i bought this entire year when we were coming up to the end of april and honestly for me, that is amazing. Like, I am a shoe queen. I love shoes. I have so many pairs of shoes. But I just haven't felt the need to buy shoes because one, I have a lot. And two, for me, if it's not something I love, I'm just not even buying it. I'm just really not. So it is spring summertime in the UK and kitten heels are very trendy. And for something like me who's tall, I still love a kitten heel. I think it's very fashionable. And whether it's a trend or not, I will always be wearing kitten heels because not every day the high heels like sometimes you need a low heel which is comfortable so i picked up these h&m white heels which i think are very spring summer appropriate in this like bottega style every brand you can imagine is doing this type of style they're copying bottega and i'm here for it because as much as i love luxury and i'm spend money on luxury things where i can save a coin i want to save a coin so these h&m shoes are absolutely stunning i'll show you it on I am obsessed. I think it was like under £20. So yeah, and if you're not a H&M member, this is not sponsored by the way, I think you should be because there's always a discount code in my basket or in my account, like whether it's £3 off, 15% off my order, like there's always a discount code and it's always free shipping. So that's just a tip ladies. Again, not sponsored, but I love H&M because I can always get a discount of some sort, whereas other brands like Zara don't give you squat. So that's just a tip. And I've been shopping on H&M so much more this year, like loving, loving, their pieces, their shoes, their clothes, everything about stuff. H&M, I am loving. However, the website, H&M upgrades it. I think if H&M upgrades their website, it would be killing Zara, but you know, that's just my opinion. So yeah, these are my white um, Bottega style inspired heels, which I'm loving and cannot wait to wear out. Last pair of heels I picked up, or kitten heels, are these beautiful kitten heels from Shoe. I have not shopped in Shoe. In years I think I used to shop and shoe a lot when I was in uni to buy like bands and converses and stuff like that but since being in a role world being an adult working girl I have not picked gone to shoe for anything absolutely nothing this is a place like ASOS so I don't really need to go and shoe but um, these I was gonna hunt for some light blue kitten heels like very hard to find and this came up and I was obsessed obsessed with it when I saw it on the website I was like bag my basket and I think the price is really good, like again, under £30, I believe. 
I think it was on sale then I can't remember but I will link this in the description below pick this up ladies pick this up it is so gorgeous on for me it's the color not much more not so much the style because you can get styles like this anywhere to be honest but it's the color I have not seen a kitten hill in this baby blue color and I was on the hunt for baby blue shoes because I don't own any and I found some so um, yeah I'm super chuffed with this buy like this is one of like the star buys of this month because I didn't have this in my collection and for me that makes it star buy when I actually add to my collection and I know this will be timeless for me because I love baby blue as a colour. So yeah, love these shoes. So I've been trying to get into some Chanel beauty product. I've already raved and ranted about the Chanel under eye highlighting powder. I am obsessed with it, my favourite powder ever. But I've also been into Chanel's hand cream. I've already on packages, so I've had this for a few weeks now. But I thought I'd show you in my new in haul because it is new in. Absolutely love the packaging. It is massive, so to me it is worth the money, um, it was expensive, very expensive <laughs> for hand cream, but again, it's part of the aesthetics. I love taking pictures of this, like, it's just, you know, it's the whole vibe, it's the vibe for me. Um, it's aesthetics for me, like, I'm an aesthetics queen, I love things that look lovely, so I had to pick this up. And I also picked up another Chanel piece, which is their lip balm. I know, lip balm from Chanel, is it really necessary? No, it's not. I saw it and I was like, you know what, I want the lip balm. And again, it's all part of the aesthetics. Like, it's the aesthetics for me. It's the aesthetics for me. Um, so I picked up the Chanel lip balm. I cannot lie, I have used this once, like just once. And this is the packaging. Very cute. I will say with Chanel Beauty, so far what I've noticed is that everything is very, very large. So you get your money's worth in a way. Like the packaging, the the ounces, how much they give to you, it's a lot. So I can justify it in that way, but again, it's Chanel, so of course the price is going to be expensive. So yeah, picked up this Chanel lip balm, literally, that's what it looks like. It looks like just regular lip balm, I can't really tell you if it's that amazing. I haven't used it enough, I've used it once and it just felt like Vaseline on my lips, to be honest. Um, I'm sure the ingredients are better than Vaseline, I hope, but um, it just felt like it felt like Vaseline on my lips, to be honest, but a very expensive one, so hey ho, that stamp. Just being honest with you, it didn't feel revolutionary or anything like that. It just felt like regular lip balm, but with a hefty price tag. Um, but that's what you get when you pay for Chanel, so there's the little things in life I like to enjoy to buy, and that's what I do. So yeah, those are the few bits I picked up from Chanel Beauty, and I'm not mad at it. The next beauty or fragrance I picked up, as you already know from this channel, I am a fragrance love uh, love 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 i absolutely adore fragrances i'm all about the art of smelling good i'm learning constantly about fragrances and what they are and what they mean and how to layer and how to put them together and all of those good stuff so this fragrance i picked up it is oud it's some fuck no this is swiss arabian shagaf oud i have done my research on this before i bought this perfume a bit of background about this is i was very very much influenced by a lot of the perfume reviewers on YouTube of a perfume called Oud Bouquet by Lancome and it's a niche perfume from their line and I did buy a tester and I really did not like it. I bought a tester of Oud Bouquet and Oud is some far by Christian Dior. I absolutely love Christian Dior, Oud is some far and that is on my wish list for perfumes. But they did say in reviews that this perfume is almost like a dupe or similar smell to Oud Bouquet. So I did buy this because it's so much cheaper and I couldn't get a sample of this really. And I thank God I really, really love this. Like I am obsessed. This is my first Oud perfume. And Oud is one of those weird perfumes. If you're not someone who's really into perfumes and very well versed in perfumes, if you know what I mean, you might not like oud and i'm someone that's trying to get very well versed into perfumes and all types of perfume so and different scents so when i picked up this i was nervous because it was apparently very similar to oud bouquet which i just didn't quite like i mean it was growing on me as i used it for a couple of days but not enough to pay the price tag of 180 pounds for oud bouquet by lancome so when i saw this perfume was a dupe and was literally cost me 30 pounds on amazon yes 30 pounds i said you know what even if i don't like it it's only 30 pounds and i am obsessed for me it's a much nicer take on oud bouquet i mean it's obviously not a niche so it's not as um it's not as 
the depth of Louis Piquet, like the, the different notes, the different, um, after different albums, you get different notes coming, but this one's quite, what you, what you spray is what you get. So the notes in this, I'll put a description, I'll put the description somewhere here or here of what the notes are in here. What you get with this, it's when you spray it, is what you get throughout the whole day. It is very, very a punch in the face type of perfume. One spray is enough, especially during the day. If it's not nighttime, one spray is enough. That is it, no more than one. You will literally be filling the room with your scent. So honestly, one spray is enough. If you're someone who's trying to get into oud perfumes, I would definitely recommend this. It's not expensive, it doesn't break the bank. So definitely try this out if you want to get to oud. I think it's a nice starting point for ouds. Like there's another oud perfume that I'm really into that I really wanted, which is Amber Oud by Roger Parfume. And that is 600 pounds for that bottle. If someone would like to buy that for me, please go ahead. But yeah, that's definitely on my wish wish list because it's super expensive and I just don't, no, if I want to spend £600 on a perfume right now, I'm like, I'll take it as a gift, but <laughs> for me to spend that on a perfume right now, it's like, <gasps> so yeah, I have a, a wish list of perfume, which she is like three grand. So yeah, guys, it is definitely a dupe for me right now. Two items. So the next items I picked up recently are jewellery and they are already on my neck. The first item is my initial necklace, my R necklace, and that is by a brand called Sif Jacobs. Sif Jacobs is a brand I was again influenced by a YouTuber, I cannot remember her name for the life of me, but another YouTuber and I just loved how she stacked it. She had both initials, so her first name and her surname like stacked like this, obviously not the cross, and I was obsessed, I wanted it, and when I got it, I did love it straight away. I will not lie, the customer service I experienced was horrible. Um, I waited, I think, about two weeks for this to come from Copenhagen, and when I emailed, it's just the customer service, customer service lady or man who was on the email was very, very rude to me, so I will just let you know that, but I know I've had people ask in a previous video I did, where is this from, and I'll happily tell you, but just give me a heads up that the customer experience, I, the customer service I experienced was not great, so, you know, bear that in mind, but I'm not saying don't shop with them, but I'm just saying that was my honest experience, so yeah, bear that in mind. And my cross necklace is from Italio Jewelry. Now this is from America, I believe this was shipped from America and it came so much more quicker than the initial necklace. And I was super impressed by the quality. Both of these are not real diamonds. They are like imitation diamonds and they look just as good as real diamonds. They are both on sterling silver chains and the pendants are also on sterling silver so the quality of the necklaces are very very good you will not get rusting or the neck turning green absolutely not so these will last a very long time and both the packaging are really lovely um this italian jewelry packaging was very very good i mean so was the sif jacobs but um i think this italian jewelry packaging impressed me so much more because I chose the gift packaging which is free and it just came in such a lovely packaging so yeah, I'm really really impressed by that and yeah it was quick so I would definitely recommend the cross more but again if you like initial buy it. The next item I bought and came literally today so just in time for this video is my Jodie inspired by Bottega bag so this is not a Bottega bag even though it looks like one it's a dupe not a fake, a dupe, um, by the brand West 22. I've talked about West 22 on my channel before because I have a few of their bags and I'm absolutely obsessed. This is real leather, absolutely gorgeous, giving me Bottega vibes without the price point and love, 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 how gorgeous. I'm gonna bring it closer. So yeah, very similar to the Jodie Knot bag in the mini, but obviously not Bottega, um, obsessed. Again, I've talked about how I love Bottega style and their bags and shoes, but I'm just not paying that price point. It's not worth it. I felt the bags. The only one Bottega bag I want, and I'll leave a picture here, is the gold clutch. I am obsessed with that. I want that from Bottega because I've seen dupes and it's just nothing like it. I want the Javel gold one from Bottega and I will get that eventually. But for now, these dupes will definitely, because they're trendy bag. Like, I don't know, I can't tell you the next few years I would like this bag. So for me, I'm not gonna spend thousands of pounds on a bag I'm in on like next year. That's just 
not what I'm going to do right now. So yeah, I bought this because I do love this colour and I do have a black one from West 22 also and the material, the leather is absolutely phenomenal and I felt again the Bottega one's leather is great but it's nothing that I'm like, oh my goodness, like no. So yeah, this is my recent, um, most recent recent bag because it came today. Now the last two items I've already got um, reviews on them on my channel and I'm sure you already know what I'm talking about. The first thing I'm going to show you is my new wallet from Louis Vuitton. So this is the Victorian wallet from Louis Vuitton. I'm not going into too much detail because I have a dedicated review of this on my channel already so if you haven't watched that already I will leave it in the cards here. Um, this is my new wallet, love it. I will open it up, it's like an envelope. I think it's super cute. Just keep my cards in there, some cash, or actually receipts are currently in there, and a coin. So coin bits for like any coins you have. Love it, super cute. I have been obsessing with this. I've been wearing it every day. I have a lot of wallets, card holders, but this for me, it's just been my girl. It's been my babe. Like I've been using her every single day because she's small enough to fit in most of my small bags. And for me, that is why I bought her because she does everything I need um, and it's very practical. So yeah my new wallet my new bag so this is my also another bag i bought this month in april from coach the infamous tabby bag again i have a dedicated review of this bag already on my channel so i'll link that as well in the cards this bag she's just a stunner she's just a babe like again the cream color i have so many cream bags so i am done with cream bags i don't want to see any more cream bags and hopefully i don't like any more that i need to buy but um yeah love this love this bag again i'm not going into detail because i've done that already but yeah obsessed with this bag and i think she's really the it bag of the season i don't know who doesn't have this coach bag and then, yeah i really really am obsessed with her so yeah my newest baby in my well one of my newest babies in my collection so yeah so that is it guys for my new in bits my new in haul i hope you've enjoyed this video tell me what you love from this video if there's any items you're thinking of getting i would love to know please remember to subscribe we are growing this channel road to 1k road to 1k we're almost there guys so please it would mean the world to me if you would join this family remember to like this video and comment down below so with that i will see you in my next video bye guys